These police officers are tough, strong and determined. And they're also Queenslanders. Obviously uh, there's no uh, better football than a Queenslander. 22 men from around Australia have swapped their blue uniforms for green and gold ones to play in the Police Rugby League World Cup. It's, it's a funny thing actually because we're you know, sworn enemies halfway through the year but now they've come together fantastic. Half the team is from the Sunshine State. It's, it's very physical um, and it, it is tough to back up all the time. Uh, the, the, the first week we had uh, three games in five days and it's uh, very very um, hard on the body. They've faced off against countries including Great Britain and New Zealand. Uh, with the countries, the five countries that are competing, it's, it's a very high standard considering obviously we're not playing, we're not paid professional footballers, we're only coppers. The level of competition here is no less than in the real World Cup. It's physical and tough. Tonight the boys are playing New Zealand and they need to win by 37 points if they're going to make it into the grand final. It's pretty exciting, you know, and we're playing in Queensland obviously, so it's, it's great to see some Queensland boys uh, put a bit of a show on for the, for the crowd. Michael Gillette crossed the line on his debut. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, it's been an experience. Uh, really enjoyed it and hopefully in the uh, coming years I'll have a lot more, a lot more jerseys to get in the future. This tour has been a special one for team veteran and cane tote Sian Jacobs. I believe I'll be hanging up the boots after this. Um, first started playing for this side eight years ago, so um, you know, your body tells you when it's time to uh, give it away. The boys will be back in blue next week. Chloe Simmons, 10 News.